Alright boys, we got us a 10 cat go ring there. You see that old steel pole there? The old GS2. Now this is the DS2 in the fast program and I've got the Mono program in 17.64 kilohertz. That's about as high as you can run a G, original DS1, okay, without a high frequency call. So the people that's got them machines, you know, might find this video interesting. Now, if you was running this machine here in mono program at that frequency, you're going to get to see what it does. Fast program, 2.5 reactivity. Listen. You hear that? You hear that go ring? I can't even sweep too fast to hit that go ring from three to four inches above it, okay? I guess I better turn this audio response up a little so you can hear it. Listen. You hear that? Mano program. 17.6 kilohertz. Let me go in here and change it in an expert setting because I've got auto scan on. You see it there in the window. No tricks, boys. 17.64. 2.5 reactivity. Max audio response. Listen. You hear that? Now, if I get down real close to it, but it call height, speed to sweep up. You get, you don't get near the audio sound on that go ring. Hear that little clip? You might mistake that for ground noise. Fast program. Listen. Got to have a little delay. Now listen. I can't sweep too fast and not hit that ten carat go ring by that metal pole. Call height advantage, down close. Okay. Some people may find that video very interesting. That's 11 inch call on this detector, you know.